Neff reaction, one of the most important organic chemical reaction for the synthesis of carbonyl compounds. So it is basically the transformation of a nitroalkane to the carbonyl compound in presence of base as well as acid in two steps. So in this video, I will discuss about the different mechanism of the Neff reaction and what is it, what is its importance. So stay with me and let's start today's topic. So these are the three important pathways by which you can do the Neff reaction. The first one is the very standard reaction which uses in the first step they use base and then in the second step it is a strong acid which will protonate and in the second case the second procedure is again the first step is base but the second step they use oxone and in the third case it is the reductive uh, pathway where they use titanium trichloride and now I will discuss the mechanism of these three reactions one by one. So let us first discuss with the pathway one which uses a strong uh, not strong base you can use a weak base because you can see this hydrogen which is alpha hydrogen with respect to this nitro group or you can say this is directly attached to this uh, carbon which is attached to it with the nitro group and these hydrogens are relatively acidic so when you treat this with a strong base for example like dbu or sodium hydroxide also you can use so this base will take this hydrogen right so they will generate a anion over here now if you look into this nitro group so you can see this base sorry this minus this anion they can be stabilized into this nitro group which is shown by this resonance structure right so you can see this is a stable anion because it has this resonance stabilization so that's why if you even treat with various uh, weak base then also this enolization will happen or this uh, enolate formation enolate it is equivalent of enolate th this thing will happen and now when you treat with strong acid what will happen so acid will protonate this oxygen so here you have a positive charge so the acid will first protonate the, this oxygen and eventually it will also protonate this oxygen so you will have OH over here and OH over here and this happens in two steps in the first step one oxygen O minus will be protonated in the next step the another O minus will be protonated and you will have this right so you can see this is your intermediate now uh, you can see this just looks like this so if you have a carbonyl group and your oxygen carbonyl oxygen is protonated you can see this center becomes very much electrophilic the same thing happens with here this nitrogen contains a positive charge and that's why this center is very much electrophilic and you know if you are using acid that means you have water in your reaction medium so that water molecule can attack over here and you will get this in which in which here you have OH2 plus this R dashed here R. Now you can see the proton exchange can occur between this OH2 plus and this OH. So that will make this one OH and this one OH2 plus. This can happen. Now in the first step, this oxygen can push and this OH2 can go as the water. So you will have N. O over here and now the reaction you are doing in acidic medium so when this oxygen push this group can go and take a proton and you will have so here you will get HNO HNO and here you will have this carbonyl group so this is how you get this a carbonyl compound starting from this nitroalkane right so this is the mechanism with 
base and strong acid this is the standard mechanism now let us discuss with the second uh, procedure which uses oxone so in that case also at first you will have the enolate nitro enolate this one which we got in the first case but in this case the mechanism is little bit interesting o minus o minus or one uh, oxygen can also be present as oh right now when you treat this with oxone so what is oxone oxone is basically k h so5 this is oxone right this is sulfur oxy sulfur acid uh, the salt of the potassium uh, salt of oxy uh, sulfur acid now when you treat this with oxone what will happen so you will have this epoxide kind of things over here this is uh, nitrogen uh, nitrogen counterpart of the epoxide thing and here you will have oh and o minus like this right so this thing you will get now when this oxygen will push this thing will go here and this will go out so what you will get you will get r c o o r over here and here you can see the leaving group is nothing but so you can see it is nothing but h in o2 minus so this this is how you get the keto now uh, this is a two step mechanism the formation of this epoxide equivalent from this is a two step mechanism in the first step the oxone attacks over here so this is o minus uh, so 3h this will attack over here so that will give you n o minus o minus and here you will have this r dashed r o o sorry this is so 3 h now this o minus will sorry now this nitrogen lone pair will attack over here and this will go as leaving group so this is how you get this epoxide kind of thing and then eventually after this step you will get this carbonyl compound so this is the mechanism with oxone and you can see this is more interesting than the previous one now let us discuss about the third mechanism which uses titanium uh, trichloride so what is the mechanism with titanium trichloride so the same thing with the same thing when you treat with titanium trichloride what will happen so this o minus will attack over here and one of the chloride will go so this is tiCl2 one cl i can write as this this cl will go as cl minus and you will have this r dashed here r and here this n so o titanium cl2 and here you have this o minus here you have this oxygen now in this step this bond will go here and this bond so from titanium you can push this lone pair like this or you can directly use this tiCl bond and push over here so this will go here so this is how this titanium thing is oxidized so you can see now or if you don't push this you can you can push this titanium lone pair like this so if this titanium lone pair push over this oxygen this bond will break and you will have this neutral o minus so now this nitrogen which was a positively charged center this becomes neutral and from the reaction medium this oxygen can also be protonated and it can be oh but the thing which is removed over here is titanium cl2o but here you have a positive charge because you can see this 
titanium will have a positive charge because it pushes its lone pair and now another cl can go over here to form titanium cl3o so here you can see the titanium is in plus 3 oxidation state or in the starting material it is in plus 3 oxidation state tical tical3 but here you can see it is in plus 5 oxidation state so the titanium reagent is oxidized whereas this nitrogen center is reduced you can see here it has a positive charge so it is re reduced from this to this and now eventually the hydrolysis will occur so if you treat your hydroxyl amine where, sorry oxime your oxime with the h2o the water molecule this center will be hydrolyzed and you will have this so this hydrolysis mechanism is very similar uh, with uh, when you hydrolyze this uh, this thing so the mechanism is very much similar and um, so that that's why i'm not writing the mechanism again so after hydrolysis you will get this carbonyl group over here so these are the three uh, mechanisms of or three pathways of the nef reaction and it is very important uh, reaction for the synthesis of carbonyl compounds i hope this that uh, i hope that this video will help you if you like this video then give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends thank you for watching